the that's a different point. I'm talking about. Uh, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that you should be strong spirited. There's no point comparing. My point is here. Like I can be, I I know that I have been stronger than many men also. But largely, I agree that men can be more strong. Physically, just. But if you're not doing anything about it. Why the fuck you're a man then? Yeah. I'm mean, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, it's, yeah, it's a very valid question. The same way, yeah. in that same vein yeah. that you could right now say yeah. what you just said. Yeah. Imagine if today I say something like that about women. Then why the fuck are you a woman? Then? Exactly. Even if it is for the if right thing. If you cannot, you're affecting a lot of people here by saying that statement. Environment. <laughs> if you cannot explore Hypocrisy? that. Hypocrisy. I mean, I I just feel that uh, both of. All of us, all of there are no two genders, if I or whatever. Yeah. All of us should explore everything that is there within. But that is something which is our core, which comes naturally to us. We should not hide away from. Femininity comes naturally to me, and I should I should just cherish it, because for a, for the longest time I have been the kind of girl who used to hate myself for being a girl, because I could not explore the word like my brother could. I think for till about I don't know 13, 14 age or 15 at least, and then I moved to Delhi. Then I started exploring that you know if I stay away from my family, I can do whatever. Then I started exploring the fact that I need to just convince the same thing to my parents. And now they, they I don't ask anything to them. My life. The point is, uh, my journey was like this. I mean, I I really hated myself that you know why the fuck I am a girl. Because if I was the man, I could I could do anything that. So I was in this tussle. It just happened suddenly at one moment. I don't remember the moment also. I actually did. So in Bangalore itself, last night itself, I had an interaction with a female who, when she asked me like, "What do I do and stuff?" First of all, I just kept like avoiding the question because like by now I've come through enough people to know. Who is leaning on which side of political ideology? Who is leaning on which side of agenda, etc. And then I, like the third time she asked, I even told. She started laughing. Mm-hmm. All right, I just told her about my livelihood, and she's laughing on my face. And she's a twenty-four-year-old girl. All right, no problem. I'm still there because I know the reason why she's laughing. I know this thing. And then it went deeper to the point where she started laughing even more. Oh my God! Do you really think this is how you know uh, disconnected are you from reality? This and that and this and that. Now, she's not open enough to actually embrace because I can understand why she has become like that. Mm-hmm. All right, it's been fed to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Great. But if she actually cares about women to the point that she's laughing at me because I'm doing something for men, she would take your situation also into consideration. No? Because if With the work that we are doing for men, we are able to make better fathers in the future, so that another daughter does not have to go to what her father was culturally impressioned already to do. Yeah. Wouldn't that help women? Exactly. But her thinking was like, mm. why aren't you gender neutral? Are mm-hmm. you what the fuck? Yeah. I don't think I can help women, man. So <laughs> I've done. I've got a dick. I've been living like that. So I and I have experience. So I'm helping. Yeah. You have a problem with that also. Oh, I, stupid shit. Yep. Yep. And okay. for everything, right? When she's laughing at me and stuff, I'm like, like we can look it up or like you know, like it's you can see like the facts for yourself. Because I was like, for example, even the legal structure wise mm-hmm. in India, especially women are, yeah, so advantaged in certain situations. It's, it's unfair. It's not right. It's not equal at all. It's superiority, and people are misusing it. And majority is misusing it mm. based on statistics, yes. right? But at that time, she'll just laugh more on my face and this yeah. thing. Mm. And by now, I don't know, like, because she also was meeting me for the first time, so she doesn't know that I've gone through mm. lots of <laughs> this already. Whether it was MTV, whether it was you know Me mm. Too, whatever. Mm-hmm. Even to speak, oh mm-hmm. guys, it's mm-hmm. a fucking problem. I mean, because. And she started twisting my words. She's like, "So you work for men because you think women don't deserve well?" I was like, "When did I say women don't deserve well?" Yeah. That's so the narrative so they have, you right? Think about it. Straight away, like, yes. 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 Think about it. there are so many. So basically, if there are ten groups for men to experience this, there are ninety-four women. 
Not just that, there are 90 like other mediums in place. Mediums, exactly. So we. Uh, oh, right. So either we have. There's yeah. reservation now for yeah. women. So we either we have. I mean, that's a different point. I'm talking about. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> No, we can debate about it. That's the reason I was not coming to that. It's not about how many advantages we are providing as an institution to them. I was not talking about them. I was talking about decentralized groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was talking about that. Mm -hmm. Because the scope for them to talk about it, nurture it. And honestly, I've been to a lot of women groups and I've never felt this good. Hello, <laughs> meetup done. Let's go. <laughs> And with, uh, so this is also one-sided because mm. this is also more about men and all. Mm. But here, not even a single sentence or a word mm. has been against one particular gender. Mm. In a lot of women meetups, we go a lot against men. Mm. Okay, this is something. Oh my God, this is coming out of my mouth for the very first time. Because it's not very easy to just say about yeah. talk, talk about it out there. But we women as a group. Agar char bhi hai na, mm. So they would talk shit things about their boyfriends their, and, and I know husbands also do that with their wives. Uh, but the actually not, not as much. As much. And by yeah. a bit difference. Yes. Yeah. So so we just talk shit about men. In all the women groups that you know men have been advantaged, this and that, we have lived in privileged society, yes. Mm. And men are not at fault always. Yeah. Because they have been felt that. My father is the biggest feminist I've ever seen mm. because he also learned from two daughters he raised. Mm. It was not his mistake. Like if if anyone, like anyone, but behaved, sixteen year old girls will type on a iPhone yes. built by men on Twitter built by men that but all we men are trash. Yes. yes, we were not that. My father actually. I am. I'm, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just saying. So so my no my point was this only. That they they participate group, participate group, themselves in a yeah, very in right manner. Group, if if your your idea is to improve men, not at the cost of how do you feel about women. In fact, in a you would rather develop much more respect. Yeah. So that's a healthy environment. In women group, the environment becomes unhealthy sometimes. And there are good women group uh, groups also. I couldn't find any. That's the only problem. <laughs> uh, but 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 the thing is, I don't see. It. I don't want to. I I don't think this should be coming. But. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so they, we, 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 I as a woman, maybe I can start someday, but I don't have this much, whatever. Uh, so, but but I think I genuinely need a group where we can talk sense about any gender. Like yeah. we can talk, if I want to improve as a woman, explore my femininity. But I just don't want to uh, talk about shit about masculinity or men around me. Because they're not at fault. The indoctrination is as such, like if you want to establish a group of friends together, you have to find a common enemy. And we men become their common enemy, like for them to find it. So, so you know what, what? So when we do the proper Bangalore meetup, mm. right? Mm. Remember to ask this because I'll I'll talk about why women like gossip mm -hmm. and especially gossip with the bitching angle. Mm -hmm. And how that is actually a very mm -hmm. um very Useful. subversive mating strategy. Okay. Uh -huh. It's actually so a actually reproductive men strategy. Yes, gossip. Yes, a yes, lot. Yes. Uh, yes. Men gossip, men, but men, men don't gossip. gossip about women the way women gossip about men. Yes. It's and men. neither it's and gossip. neither is the weight, uh, the quantity the same. Men gossip about survival. Like men gossip about shit in the world to do. Yeah. Mm, I get it. Women gossip about people. Yeah. And the reasons for that will freak you out. Yeah.